Hey, welcome back to my channel and to the last episode of my Latte Art Championship journey. Today, I went to Assembly Coffee to attend the wonderful pre-championship event that Benji, who then worked for some Remo, organized. I arrived at 6 p.m., which was when the throwdown started. Apparently, there was a Latte Art Championship competitor session before the throwdown, but I missed the email, so I didn't know that happened. I got knocked out quite early today, like I always do. I started my day off by carrying 8 liters of milk from Tesco and waited for my coach to arrive with the keys as he was running late. My phone is so fucked with this color. We made a fake mic to practice with because I knew I would be bothered by the mic around my ears. I highly recommend trying this and we just used some cable ties and masking tape. One thing that we picked up at the San Remo event was that the sponsor machine on stage won't have the extraction timers above the group heads. We forgot to train on this for the past two months and only realized that we needed to change parts of our routine five days before the competition. We decided to place three timers above the group heads, each dedicated for a matching set. The cups were also stacked on top of each other instead of side by side. I actually had a really bad panic attack the day before, knowing that I needed to change my routine in such a short time. This entire competition had put me on edge every day and I just wanted it to end ASAP. For the training today, we mainly wanted to see how I managed to time my shots. Since there won't be a timer on the espresso machine and I won't be able to count the seconds in my head when I perform, the best way I could get those extraction time points on my score sheet was by using timers. Ready? Yeah. 
According to the rulebook, extraction times must be a minimum of 15 seconds for macchiatos and 20 seconds for lattes. And the latte sets must have less than 3 seconds of variation. If the extraction time is under the time required, a zero will be given in this area. 3 seconds of variation means that the extraction time across all latte sets must be within 3 seconds of difference. Since I wasn't sure if the grinder would be dialed in or not, I would estimate the time I needed to stop my shot by looking at when the first drop of coffee came out of the spout. So if the espresso dropped at 3 seconds, I would stop it at 21 seconds. If it dropped at 5 seconds, I would stop it at 24 seconds. If it dropped at 8 seconds, I would stop it at 26 seconds. This essentially helped with extracting a similar volume of espresso every time I practiced. On the day of the competition, the espresso dropped at 3 seconds, so I stopped the extraction when I saw 21 seconds on my timer. I start the extraction by using my left hand and start the timer simultaneously with my right hand after I let go of the portafilter. In theory, the real extraction time should be what is shown on the timer or even a tiny bit longer. My technical judge timed 20.69 seconds and 21 seconds for my latte sets, while the shadow technical judge recorded 20.72 seconds and 20.62 seconds. So in reality, my extraction times were recorded a little bit slower than my real extraction time, which is reasonable due to delays in neurotransmission. Luckily, the latte sets didn't cause me any marks, as both sets were over 20 seconds and within 3 seconds of variation. If I stopped a shot when the timer showed 20 seconds, although the actual extraction time would be 20 seconds or even a tiny bit longer, the judges would have recorded around 19.6 seconds, causing me to lose 4 points out of 99 points for each latte set. The coffee ran really fast on the day and dropped at 3 seconds, so by the time it hit 15 seconds, my macchiato cup was half full. I decided to stop the shot when my timer showed 15 seconds, as I started the timer late for the set and thought that the judges must have recorded at least 15 seconds for it. However, they recorded my time as 14.44 seconds, marking me a zero in that category and causing me to lose 4 points that would have made me draw at 6th place with another competitor. I added the playback of that moment at the end of the video just to show how obvious the delay of starting my timer was. We also predicted things like this might happen, so we asked a friend to record from an angle so we can get the timer in the shot. Unfortunately, it was done in a rush and our instructions weren't clear, so we ended up not attaining enough evidence to appeal. There were a lot of uh, small things I realized. So, uh, there were like a lot of little challenges. Yeah. 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 Are you ready? I need to do the countdown. I was. You ready? No. Just let me check something. Okay. Thank you very much for your time today. Just act like there's someone talking to you, judges there. Yeah. Double check everything. Okay. Okay. Card. Hi! You made for this! You made to win! Top 3! Maybe I should put the timer on. I love changing your mind. You love changing your mind. I'm working as efficiently as I can. Okay, I'm ready. Ready, Dennis? 
Yes. Time. Well, it is. Today, I'm going to take you on a personal journey with me, with your latte art. I'm going to pour you three different patterns and talk you through the story of mine. So my third part is a 
Dragon. Uh, wait, wait, designer and give me a moment as I clean up. And I hope you enjoy her choice today. And time. Why this and you put it back there? Oh fuck it! Ah! Steven! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, wait, I'm oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I put it in here! Oh my god! That is so funny! <laughs> I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> what is the point of that? <laughs> Unfortunately, I pulled my thumb muscle a few days before the competition. I probably trained too much and didn't stretch enough. I managed to ease the pain by using kinesiology tape and my pores seemed to be fine, but it definitely made me more stressed. Connie from Glasgow, who was also competing in this year's competition, came to our roastery for a warm-up session before the big day. I was also doing a final run through today just to gain a bit more confidence. Thank you. 
You have two seconds spare. No, for the figures. Well done! Hold on. And I have no idea about uh, you. have five. What's good? Water or Yes, I do it like this on the day. This is better. Yeah. What happened? Um, I'm too close. The jump is too close. And then I wipe it down. And so that's the roster. Yeah, the lead is very happy. A little bit a little bit. In this one, I wasn't sure which one is here, which one is part of the portion. Oh, uh, when I look at it again, uh, this one is much longer. It's like a gap here. I think you were. But we were thinking about which one to put on the left. Yeah. Yeah, it's very natural. I think that's what I feel like about coffee. I don't think they'll pick one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like the coffee grind. Please welcome our next competitor, Jesse Gao, representing Caravan Coffee Roastery. Woohoo! Hi! So I'm gonna ask you about breakfast again. Oh my god! Hi Jesse, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Everything's great, everything good? Yeah, fantastic, so excited. Hi! What did you think nice. of your performance yesterday? Oh, it's a. Uh... It's a Chinese saying called Mama Poo Poo. Oh, Poo Poo. Always just singing out, right? Oh, yeah, it's good enough. That's exactly what I mean. No, always judges. Please welcome to the stage. Oh, so how are you? Hello. Alright, Jesse. When you're ready, the stage is yours. Are you ready, Jesse? Yes. Welcome, Jesse. Today, I'm going to take you on a personal journey with me to Latte Art. I'm going to pour you some. So I put a question mark on, on all of those because it was in an angle. So if you have like just slightly, I don't know if you have a dickhead judge, they would just be like, no, 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 no. I know. But that's three marks. Let me bring. Let me bring two. I have one now. Okay. Yeah, and just choose one. Because it, it was like you more like this side, yeah, yeah. heavy. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and if if they were. Should I, should I look like this then? It's gonna cost me. I go like that. Jama, oh, when I turn that way. Honestly, it's not near the world. It's only three points. I mean, it's a lot. 
the spot trades. Let's, let's do this on the day, or when I'm at home. I see if I'm too dizzy. Like, mm -hmm. If I'm too dizzy, I uh... Another question. Why do you leave your parking there? What, in the beginning? Yeah. Wow. You shouldn't, because most time you did, that can save you like five to oh, six seconds. I'm not, not anyways. So what I do, mm. and I'm saying, mm. what come back to it's like, it's already clean, mm. but just like, uh, uh, water. just like that, water. You just have to wipe it. So I wipe it, so I don't do this, just like two seconds. But you forgot. What yeah, you well, one, one's I forgot, and the second is, we saw beds and then he did that. Because mm. it taps the water out. Save, save, save time. Oh, you have this. Yeah, what? Did you use this or that? Yeah, I yeah, did. Okay, cool. But whatever you feel the routine. But I just cut time because I don't have time in the end. My time is always very, very tight. I just start in, eliminating every small movement that I don't need. For example, that. Do whatever you feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've been doing this. So you don't have to Let's see on the day. Whatever. You make your mind now, no say on the day. Now, you decide on the day I'm going to do this. So too many variables. It's okay. We're done. We're done for the day. Good job. We're done for the whole That's thing. Hard. Good job. Uh, we're not done until the actions left. It was finally D day. I woke up around 7 a.m. and headed around 8 a.m. I packed everything in a suitcase and backpack. My coach picked up a few things from the roastery and we met at the business design center. There were a few situations on the day that really affected my mood. The first thing was that we didn't get to use the sponsor milk and had to use Yo Valley from the supermarket. Competitors usually spend months practicing with similar milk or the exact same milk, and this happened in the previous year as well. The second thing was that because there were two competitions running at the same time, there were double the competitors in the back practicing. When it was my turn to practice backstage, I didn't get a trolley. I told the staff that I wouldn't start my practice time until I got a trolley because I would waste one minute transferring my equipment from the back to the practice station and this meant that I don't get the same practice time as the other competitors. The staff member said that she couldn't provide me with a trolley and that my practice time would start when it was scheduled to start. She didn't time keep either and ran off. So when the technician had to change the water tank, although we stopped our timer as it counted as a technical timeout, she came back and just said our practice time ended. Changing the water tank took around 1-2 to two minutes, so adding that trolley issue, because of her, I lost 2-3 to three minutes of practice time. Other than that, a minor issue with the mic also affected me a bit. I realized that it was a bit loose, so I had to ask someone to get me tape from my bag. My coach didn't want to get it for me because it might get me disqualified, so he had to ask someone else to bring me the tape and they ended up using the tape for other competitors as the mic didn't fit them well either. The last issue was how judges scored competitors. One of my patterns that was significantly more difficult than the other scored the same in difficulty. The rabbit pattern also seemed to confuse one of the judges. My friend even got marked down for looking nervous on his visual score sheet, which got us really confused because performance related scores are recorded on the technical score sheet. My first animal, uh, my first pattern is a seahorse and it was the first animal pattern that I learned and it represents the starting point of my latte art journey. So I wanted to bring this pattern on stage today as a token of how far I've come. For the fin, 
Rosetta for the neck, other Rosetta for the seaweed, dry foam for the tail, and dry foam for the head, eyes, and mouth. There you go, my first pour. And my second pour. Thank you. Tulip for the fin. Rosetta for the neck. Other Rosetta for the seaweed. Dry foam for the tail. Head, eyes, and mouth. There you go, my second pour. And I'll be back with my second pattern. I started climbing just last year, thanks to a friend. And through her, I met my climbing friends. Start my pour. Tulip for the body. Rosetta for the tree leaf. Other Rosetta for the tree leaf, trunk, and beach. Hand. Tail. Dry foam for the head and dry foam for the coconuts and coconut. There you go, my first pour. And I'm gonna start my second pour. Tulip for the body. Rosetta for the tree leaf. Other Rosetta for the tree leaf, trunk, and beach. Hand. Thank you. Head and coconuts. And the last coconut. There you go, my second pour. And I will be back with my third pattern. So, my third pattern is a rabbit. And what I like about Latar is that it's fun and challenging. going to be my first pour. Tulip for the body.
in dry foam for the head ears and tail there you go my first pour and my second tulip for the body and dry foam for the head ears and tail thank you there you go my second pour and please give me a moment as i tidy up and i hope you enjoyed my performance today in time it's here for jesse from caravan ready 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 hi good afternoon judges welcome in the next nine minutes i'll present you three beautiful latte art that i created and very proud to showcase to you all my design requires the dry foam technique in the dry foam technique last little foam from steamed milk is used to produce very detailed pour such as animal face head and eye which allows me to make vivid latte art please wait a moment and then i'll be with you shortly I make the chest and the beak. Another continuous movement for the back, head and eye. This pattern requires very high level of milk control and utilize the dry foam technique to its full capacity. Let me show you the pour. Judges, it is a pleasure performing in front of you today. And hope you had a wonderful time. Thank you. Good time. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into the finals and placed 8th in the semi-finals. I was just 4 points away from the 6th place, so I'll definitely be competing in the future. This was probably the busiest summer I ever had, prepping for this in the midst of completing my master's degree. I learned a lot through my training and this experience, and had been incorporating many bits of my routine into my regular coffee workflow. I hope this series has been somewhat insightful and will inspire many new faces to compete. Hi, 